I think this is probably the first time this record has been played on the air and it's about to be released. This thing called ABC? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, would you agree? The Jackson Five. I thought this was a great example of double speak in its finest form. I think that some people that are contributing to uh, dishonesty and mistrust of the system are unaware that they're doing this. So let's read this. Is the vaccine safe? Health professionals say that the benefits far outweigh the risks associated with getting the H1N1 vaccine. While the swine flu has killed nine British Columbians, Scientific studies show that the odds of having a serious vaccine complications are about one in a million. Benefits greatly exceeds the risk, said Dr. William Bowie, a University of BC professor of infectious diseases. Most of the risks that have been mentioned are myths or fear-mongering. Bowie said that the one area where little scientific data exists is for pregnant women taking vaccines with an adjuvant. Some may decide to wait for the adjuvant-free vaccines, but they run the risk of getting H1N1 while they wait. People with severe egg allergies should not get the vaccine, or those under six months. Children aged six months to 10 years need two half doses, 21 days apart. 
Now, if that doesn't sound scary, I don't know what does. So let's read what adjuvanted means. Adjuvanted. The H1N1 vaccine contains adjuvants, a compound that boosts the effectiveness, uh, I might add, by lowering your immunity, of the vaccine that allows the administration of smaller doses. It's the first licensed flu vaccine containing adjuvant in Canada. Unadjuvanted vaccines will be available. Will be made available, sorry. And that will be in November. But again, let's go back to Dr. Bowie, Mr. Ground Control, to Major Tom here. And what he says is that... Let's hardly go by. Bowie said that the one area where little scientific data exists is for pregnant women taking vaccines with an adjuvant. Some may decide to wait for the adjuvant for free vaccine, but they run the risk of getting H1N1 while they wait. So, Dr. Bowie sounds like he's quite the fear monger himself, and uh, considering we're at pandemic level 6, supposedly from the WHO on this, what else gets more freaky than that? I don't think that anybody mentioning that mercury and thimerosal and adjuvants that have been untested on the Canadian public or on test subjects even with double blind tests that we can see are being released to the general public and being pushed by the newspaper with things like this swine flu should you get the vaccine with the biggest vaccination campaign in BC history set to start Monday we have answers to your questions and nowhere do they mention the fact that there is mercury or squalene in this uh, vaccine so it's completely irresponsible reporting and it's one-sided it's promotioning uh, of the vaccine and promoting you to get it and uh, they've trained a bunch of pharmacists but not that many I've talked to three or four today and they will not be administering the vaccine for different reasons and the course to uh, learn how to administer the vaccine and mix it as you will see in my other reading uh, is up to them so you have an uneducated pharmacist in the field of medicine mixing a potentially uh, toxic substance uh, with your vaccination for your child or for you. Completely irresponsible and it's completely rushed and Dr. Bowie is calling it a myth that there might be risks so quite amazing while to come. There's literally hundreds and hundreds of studies that connect thimerosal to, you know, to these disastrous neurological disorders. I talk to the scientists and I talk to the federal bureaucrats who are defending thimerosal and I said, what are you relying on? And I looked at the science they're relying on and I can tell you, Joe, it is so weak and you and I have seen, you know, legal practice with junk science and we know you know what these phony scientists are who create this stuff. Big tobacco. Right. Tobacco. That happens in and big this, oil. And this it's is happening in global warming. And now it's happening in a way that's impacting our kids' lives. This is classic tobacco science. It is junk science. And I was looking at these reports and saying, this is the best. This is what you're relying on. They know it's fraudulent. Okay. Uh, the scientists, again, have confirmed uh, that there is really a safe factor with using thimerosal. It's just Get your damn vaccine. The U.S. military considering a plan that could establish regional military teams to assist civilian authorities in the event of a major outbreak of the virus this fall.